Hello and welcome back. In this demonstration, we will be performing Microsoft Anti-Malware for Azure Cloud Services, especially for the VMs configuration. We also try for PowerShell as well as how to configure based on the VM extensions. And if you are wanted to deploy on a bulk machines, this anti-malware configuration, uh, we will be looking into it. So to begin with that, let's go to the dashboard and uh, the virtual machines here from the blade. So you see here you have two machines. Uh, one would be the uh, this v hyphen ud machine name other other one would be the linux hyphen ubuntu so when i try to deploy anywhere anytime on anti malware specific it's not going to support since for the linux or ubuntu specific uh, it won't be showing you as required so i will be showing you first on v hyphen ud so i'll just uh, go with the extension specific so what how do you do is you'll just go to the extensions and you see here there is a default microsoft monitoring agent is there but not the anti malware specific so if you just scroll down a little bit you do have microsoft anti malware right so what you do is here uh, to install this specific add-on uh, you can either create and then give the extensions like which you wanted to exclude here as well as the exclude the file extensions uh, so the first one would be this is a path specific and this is for the file extensions and also this is for the processes like outlook.exe or maybe notepad.exe or some application specific exe files you want to exclude or child uh, process you want to exclude you can configure here and next one would be the real-time monitoring so the real-time monitoring is uh, nothing but your uh, on scan specific uh, requirement so by default it is enable if you want to configure as a disable you can do that but it's not recommended always configuring enabling uh, should be the good option now for the schedule scan by default it was uh, disabled you can enable uh, to run the schedule scan and the type of the scan you need to configure either you want to configure full or quick and when to happen let's say you want to happen on a sunday or saturday and the scan time so by default it takes from the 12 a.m and from there how how many hours you want to you know, take it so that converts into the minutes let's say if I give here 120 minutes that's two hours that means from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. it's gonna run the scan so this is how you actually install the extension so if you click on ok that goes uh, as an extension and it gets installed on that specific VM and this process is for single VM but we don't want to do that now and we wanted to deploy for all the machines to do that I need to go for the security center so how do how can I go is uh, you can go to the search here and type here as the security center and you get this and uh, if you're quite new to this if you have not it configured you can check the configuration part how to do that and once I have configured the security center uh, which I can enable at the subscription layer and it would be charged based on instance and other uh, application based now once uh, I open this security center I get the scoring so you see here the scoring is very very important and also this specific windows defender specific settings or when I say defender like anti malware specific here you get it under compute and app services there are multiple uh, things can be managed from the uh, security center but we are focused within this demo specific to Microsoft anti malware for Azure cloud services as well as for the VMs so I'll simply select this specific um, one which is a compute and you see here you do have your multiple things out of that I can either search for the malware then I would be getting or you see here install endpoint protection uh, as the option so this is where the install uh, endpoint protection solution on one machine is pending so either I can click on that to proceed further um, so that I can install on one VM the specific option so I can simply 
click on that so you see here it is showing as other servers like other my windows servers where i have already installed in this case microsoft anti malware uh, for these vms but i didn't installed on this specific vm just to demonstrate so that's why if you see here the issue is showing as a result for rest of the vms but this specific vm that's ev hyphen udvm it's still open and the risk or the severity is showing as the high so simply select that specific and uh, you can install you can click on install on one vm this is how if you have a multiple machines you simply have to uh, take all the checkboxes of the required vms and click on that button that would again takes to the same web uh, web page which we have done earlier for the vm extensions so you see here you are getting the again files and uh, locations to be excluded let's say i have an application which is maybe on a c drive or d drive gets installed or it works a path called maybe excluded path or app one app two whatever the path you want to you know completely exclude so uh, you can give that specific path and we can validate these uh, paths and the extensions let's say when one of the extension maybe i can say that uh, maybe like dot jpg file or some other you know business specific uh, files or maybe file extensions can be given here so uh, just for the testing purpose this is all the demo so i'm just giving as dot jpg and also excluded process so that entire thread will be excluded let's say if uh, outlook.exe or some other application a business application is taking um, some specific uh, threading is happening you can give that kind of uh, extension say i can give here as outlook.exe or notepad.exe just for the demonstration purpose but in your case in the real world you may know uh, get this information from your application owners who request you to uh, whitelist their uh, extensions and the processes and the application folders and also coming back to the real-time protection you can take that a checkbox which is a default enabled and most of the time uh, with my experience like if you have more than one uh, antivirus like you know this specific uh, microsoft anti-malware is compatible to or oh, with coexist with other antiviruses also let's say you have another antivirus like um, uh, carbon black it is compatible so both antivirus can work on the single machine in that situation real-time protection works uh, from defender also also from the carbon black also it works so either way um, you can either disable or enable this kind of you know configuration which is a on scan specific so any of the file which is running uh, will be automatically scanned and will be treated based on the scoring and virus definitions and the real time be so now i'll just enable that and also i'll configure here the uh, schedule scan so here the schedule scans are key definitely uh, you have two different types like a quick as well as a full so i always go for i like to you know go for the quick with the sunday on uh, 120 minutes which i say 120 minutes it's two hours uh, starting from the 12 a.m that means till 2 or uh, 2 a.m it completes the scan that's how uh, it's going to run so post to that again it will pending and the next day it gets uh, uh, take the opportunity to complete and this might take some time so in my case it took uh, maybe for 14 to 15 minutes time and sometimes you don't get the output also here all you have to do is just refresh and that specific window if i just go to the again extensions uh, i will see here as the extension is already got provisioned and if i go to security center and try to check out definitely that also will be available so in this extension it's got completely successfully installed and it's available let's go to the security center and uh, from the overview again uh, computing uh, and you can see here the install endpoint protection solution none is pending that is in the green earlier it was in a red now it is currently in green state so it's success and we can further drill down to see so you see here we hyphen ud also has installed and everything got resolved here so that's how it's going to work so let's log into this uh, specific vm and see what kind of configuration is currently affecting so to do that i need to go to the vm and uh, 
just download the data file to you know just log into the VM to check out how this looks like so I'll just run a fast forward state to log into the specific machine now once it's logged in I can show you or by opening the Windows Defender so this Defender uh, service is uh, will be available here if you need further level of any of the customization you have to come to the each machine and do it or you can do it from the PowerShell also I'll just you know click on the virus and threat protection um, and also you see here it is everything is green right and you can you know, go for the virus threat protection settings and you see here real time is um, protection is enabled and also you have the controlled access and more extensions you see whatever we have given like app door or app uh, data one or app install dot jpg files and also the outlook dot exe and notepad exe all these got uh, perfectly got configured without touching us anything so that's good configuration now if what if if you want to you know configure on a multiple machines with a custom setting so this is very special documentation is available for you to you know download this old, very old document from 2015 onwards it's there so what happens is it's a simple JSON file um, if you just go through this entire document it says that a JSON format file where you need to uh, just to configure uh, specific things especially uh, like you know these are the headlines like anti malware settings, all that. So, if you see here within this anti mal configuration, so the first one would be the extension one and extension two, whether you want to you know exclude and the path of uh, drive like you know, C drive or D drive with any of the specific folder and the processes. So, what I'll do is I'll simply copy this entire JSON format uh, file or the XML for configuration file. I simply you know take this configuration and save as a in a notepad and modify according to your requirement and uh, save as either JSON or .xml format and run a PowerShell command to um, to configure on a different machines let's say different multiple machines you can configure it so as a first step I'll just you know save this as either XML or maybe JSON format so once I save this I'll show you another uh, web link where you can get the configuration directly from the PowerShell so this is a set command uh, and uh, you are actually doing like you know getting the Azure VM specific server name and then the configuration and then you are setting a policy like Azure um, specific policy like Azure VM um, VM Microsoft anti malware extension which we're gonna install along with the configuration one of the biggest uh, backdrop of this entire configuration is you don't have a central configuration unless you integrate fully with endpoint protection manager or some other tools but even though you don't have a central tool directly from manage outside of the VMs so that's where the biggest uh, drawback um, otherwise it works very well unless um, you're good into managing on each machine or multiple machines and uh, maybe you know you can take help like these kind of you know, PowerShell commands to configure those XMLs or JSON file based configurations and I did actually saved as a dot uh, JSON file but that's the XML format uh, but you can also save in it uh, create a JSON format file and you can give that also as an input um, which works uh, very well with the PowerShell. I will be adding these two URLs within this lecture resource section so you can please do check that and get more uh, practice on that specific. I hope this entire demonstration is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.